Anyway, uh, last night, or I guess I should say this morning, was very eventful, very interesting. But I'm very, very, very grateful. Um, yeah, I... Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a day in the life of a stripper or a strip club vlog, whichever one it may be. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in some stripper content, then keep watching. Right now it's Friday, it's like seven o'clock. Yeah, seven o'clock. I just woke up like maybe an hour and a half ago and I showered. Um, I actually worked last night and so um, I'll tell you guys all about it. But um, right now I'm gonna go to CVS. I wanna see if they have some press on nails. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Uh, and I also wanna see if they have that Bondi spray tan. I heard it's really good, so let's go. Okay, I'm back from the store. So this is the one I was talking about, Bondi Bondi Sands, the Australian tan. So I got the dark one, this is like $25, but I just hear that it's really good. I wanted to get the ultra dark one. I always get like the darkest color that they have because when I wash it off, I usually wash it off within a few hours um, because I'm usually on the go like I am right now. So when I wash it off, it's not as dark. And so I feel like if I get the light to medium, which is the goal that I'm reaching for, um, I just feel like it just, it looks like I did nothing. So I hope that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just gonna do one arm and let's see how that looks. Ooh, it smells good. I typically use the Tan AF one from Walmart, which is like $10, $12 the most. Um, so this one was like $25. All of their products were around $25 to $30, but I hear it's really good. So I mean, you know, I'd rather pay more if it's gonna work really good, you know? Cause the one from Walmart, the Tan AF, I just feel like it wasn't doing it for me anymore. Do you see a difference or no? Honestly, my um, the lighting always just kind of washes me out anyway, so you probably won't be able to see a difference. But I am going to put on the self-tanner everywhere, and I'm gonna sit in my robe, and I'm gonna do my press-on nails, and talk to you guys, because I feel like I haven't really talked to you guys in a while. Um, and like a few vlogs ago, it was said more than once, like, this was the shortest vlog ever. Please do a longer vlog like, next time. Um, and you ask and you shall receive. I'm sorry, it's just that I've been working really late nights lately. So like when I wake up, it's usually really late and I'm dead and I'm like not doing anything exciting. Um, but I do miss like interacting with you guys. I feel like I just haven't done that lately. Um, and I appreciate you guys because you could be literally watching anyone else on YouTube, but you're watching me. So I love you guys. Okay, I'm bronzed AF. I know you probably can't tell because I look super washed out because of the light. Um, and I also didn't tan my face. But anyway, I'm gonna put on these press on nails from CVS. They were like $8. Um, so, okay, the nail salon that I go to, I've been going to them for like over a year now. Maybe even two years, it's been a while. Um, but the last three, no, last two times I went, they didn't do like the best job. Like I went for my nails, I got like dip nails, dip powder nails, and then I got my toes done twice. This is all within like the past 30 days and like they messed up my toes twice. And the second time, the first time I didn't complain because I hate complaining. Like even if you mess up, I'm like perfect, perfection, thank you so much, bye. And I leave because I'm like, I feel so bad complaining. Um, but the second time that I went to get my toes done, I was like, I just can't look at these anymore. They're so ugly. Um, the second time, they still messed up one of my toes. Um, so I told him like, hey, that one just doesn't look right. Could you just fix it a little bit? Thank you. And so he fixed it, but like, he didn't fix it. He just like, whatever. Um, and you know, I'm not gonna even talk shit about like the name of the place or anything like that because I understand people are just stressed and like unmotivated right now. Like we've been, I mean, we're still in this pandemic, you know what I mean? So it's like, I know people are just losing motivation. So I will return to them one day. Maybe they just, you know, they just, they're just having a moment, I think. Okay, I had to change robes because that one was just getting way too hot and yeah. Also, my hands are green from the uh, self-tanner. Um, so yeah, and honestly, the self-tanner looks a little patchy, but you know, good thing I work in the dark. You know, I work in a dark club, not a, not a light club, it's a night club. You know what I mean? So it's fine, who cares? But let me tell you guys about last night. So last night I show up like 
nine something and it's like honestly pretty dead and everybody is like looking really unmotivated because like if you're an employee you start the shift at 7 p.m like if you're a dj and waitress you know whatever you usually start your night shift at 7 p.m so if i get there at nine they've been there for a few hours and they're like yeah it's dead af um and so they were kind of like discouraged but i was like no that's not what i manifested on the way to work i was like it's gonna be a good time just wait so um just like i said that's just where my mind was right so i kept positive vibes like all night um next thing you know me and this girl i usually don't work together i don't like working with other girls like tag teaming a guy i don't like to do that typically but i will if you're a veteran and like i like you you know what i mean um because like new dancers i just feel like they really kind of like just fuck shit up no offense but anyway so me and her we were like sitting with the customer we end up getting paid for half the hour which the whole the whole time we we're basically just like having him take shots we were like woo it's a party let's take shots but me and her were not taking real shots so we i work at a byob club so what we'll do is if you don't want to take shots we'll get a red bull and then we'll have the bottle and then we'll have our shot glasses so me and her shots was like all red bull and then his shot i put a little bit of red bull and then all vodka because you know he thinks we're taking shots but you know my alcohol percentage doesn't have to be the same as yours you know you're a grown-ass man a few shots for me is going to get me tipsy whereas you're you are going to be fine if you're a grown-ass man taking shots you know what i mean um so, which is fine. He wanted to take shots, but I did not. <laughs> but we're getting paid for half the hour, so he thinks that you must take this shot, which is just so weird. But yeah, so I ended up staying up all night because I, I hate Red Bull. I hate Red Bull, but you know, sometimes we have to do things um, to, you know, fake it till we make it. Oh, and another thing about the nail, the nail thing, um, you're probably thinking, Kat, why don't you just find another nail salon? Like, duh. Um, I just feel like going to a random nail salon, it just never really works out. Like, you have to go to, like, you have to go somewhere that, like, you know that is good. You know what I mean? Like, it's like finding a new barber if you're a guy watching this. Um, and so I actually reached out to this one girl that does really good nails. <laughs> but she's not gonna be taking new clients until May. And so I was like, dead ass, I'll wait because I just really, I don't like being disappointed when it comes to my nails and it is what it is. I don't really mind press-ons anyway, like that's, that's cute. I mean, these are, these are kind of flimsy, so that sucks, but again, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and then I will put my hair in a shower cup and, um, rinse off this spray tan or whatever self tanner in like an hour or whatever okay so i'm ready i am bronzed i don't think you can really tell i was actually way more brown before i um rinsed it off like the top layer is always going to be the most but um i'm actually i think i'm going to put on a second layer tomorrow morning that way i can let it sit all day because it really was a pretty color but like now that i washed it off it's going to be lighter which um you know it says you can wash it off after one hour but obviously it's not going to be it's darkest after one hour so whatever anyway i'm going to work just wearing this like little round burger thing but yeah let's go Okay, it's literally gonna be seven in the morning. <sighs> I'm so tired. My dogs are crying. I'm going to bed. I'm going the fuck to bed. I'll update you guys later. Oh my god, this is about to be so good. Oh, just look at it. These are the vibes. 2 p.m. Just waking up. Okay, it is the next afternoon, evening. It's like gonna be eight o'clock p.m. Um, I think. Anyway, I just got out of the shower. I put on the self-tanner again. I wanted to like layer up. Um, that way I could be like 
extra bronze. Um, and then I'm gonna do another shower so I can like rinse it off. Um, but I'm actually gonna pack a bag right now um, to go exchange my ones. So I don't normally keep cash on me in general because first of all, I hate cash. Um, like it's annoying to actually like pay in cash. Um, but also it's like just not safe. But I have a lot of ones to um, turn in. Let me just like put it all in here all at once so it doesn't look like I'm like recycling ones or something. Speaking of recycling ones, people do that on stage. They'll come up to the stage and they'll tip me a few dollars and they don't think that I see them, but they'll pick up the same dollars and then re-tip me and then that's when I stop dancing and I look at them and I'm like, you having a good night, babe? You good? Like, don't play with me, bitch. Anyway, uh, last night, or I guess I should say this morning, was very eventful, very interesting, but I'm very, very, very grateful. Um, yeah, I, you know what? I bought that purse that I was, hold on, let me go get it. I'm such an idiot. Okay, a few vlogs ago, I bought this purse and I was like, I didn't want to buy it because I didn't. I wasn't going to use it, but then I was like, we're traveling, so I was like, this would be a good, really good travel bag, but then we ended up traveling, and then I didn't even use this bag, but I have been using it for work, so I don't know why I'm trying to stuff this little-ass backpack, but anyway, there's that. Um, it's Saturday night, so I know that it's going to be busy. Last night was actually kind of slow. The club itself was kind of slow, but I um, got lucky with this customer, like, you just have to learn how to like talk really fast and like scope out customers so that way you can know within the first few minutes if they're going to spend money or not um so i actually partnered up with that same girl and we do really well together like we really know how to just like get in their brains and just like make it work but yeah i'm honestly surprised in myself that i'm still gonna go to work tonight like just i've just been a motivated bitch lately Okay, I'm finally ready for work, but I'm actually just gonna end the vlog here and I'll do a whole new uh, vlog for you guys for Saturday night. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.